Health experts in Texas are observing up to 18 people, including children, who've had contact with the first person to be diagnosed with the deadly Ebola virus in the United States. The patient is said to have fallen ill after flying in from Liberia. The children in question are being monitored at home for any signs of the disease. I know that parents are being extremely concerned uh, about that development, uh, but let me assure these children have been identified and they are being monitored and the disease cannot be transmitted before having any symptoms. Health officials in the U.S. say they have the medical infrastructure to prevent an outbreak of the virus. But with no known cure for Ebola, pharmaceutical companies are fast-tracking experiments on potential vaccines. According to the World Health Organization, two vaccines are looking hopeful. One which is based on what is called chimpanzee adenovirus, uh, which is a recombinant uh, virus vector. Uh, this is developed by the company GSK. The other one is based on another virus, which is called VSV, and it's developed by a company in the US called New Link. So far, more than 3,000 people have died of Ebola in West Africa. Most of the victims have been in Liberia. A small number of US aid workers have recovered after being flown home. The man being treated in Texas is said to be in a serious condition.